Sean here guys and today we're talking about the UR UAV version digital FPV analog adapter the version 3.0 that's right take the red pill you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes this is a really cool option and it has a number of nice features the best feature of all though is the price Yes, I do have the BDI Digi adapter that looks so fresh, so clean, so OEM, but this thing costs $60. And if you've already plopped down 500 to get these beautiful HD goggles, do you really want to have to go spend another 60 just to be able to adapt your analog adapter that you may only use sometimes? Because after you get that beautiful digital signal in your eyeballs, do you really want to have to go back to analog? Well, for a lot of us, the answer is Yes, we have to be able to go back to fly whoops, to fly racing quads, to fly any of our old fleet that may still be great quads, but just on analog signal. And if you don't want to have to spend $60, this is only $13. And it's actually pretty nice and clean and fits on there very neatly. It has a, now a plastic block out here that really helps it mount. It just mounts to the same holes that your goggle strap thing would go on to and it keeps it firmly in place. Now your module does just sort of press fit in there, but you're not likely to be putting a lot of tension on that. So I think that's probably okay. In this case, my rapid fire module, um, it does come with included cables that go from the unit to your goggles to provide power. And it goes from the unit AV to the goggle AV to provide the video signal. Your original fat shark goggle cable would go right here on the top. The nice thing about this is that you are now doing less mating cycles to your goggles. You just leave these plugged in and then you are plugging in and out of this $13 adapter instead of this 500 set of goggles. That is a nice feature that you have with both of these analog adapters. Um, the cool thing about the $13 UAE your UAV version is it actually has an on off switch right here at the front. So if you're out flying, you don't want to have to keep fiddling with that um, barrel connector plug. You can just hit this switch and do it off. Wow. You know, every $500 goggle that ever come out can't ever seem to give us a proper power switch. And here it is right here for 13 bucks. Boom. Now it's off. Now it's on. So easy. So this is another great option for a lot of people out there. You know, people may just want to be able to fly analog on occasion. So you could just leave this on the side. It's very clean without a module plugged in and just kind of pull out your module if you need it. If you're switching heavily to digital, it's still great to have this option because you have this regulated power going to the unit. And in addition to that, you also have the on off switch and this barrel connector preventing you from doing multiple, multiple, multiple mating cycles on this thing. It fits on the side fairly clean, not quite as clean as the $60 solution, but it is a great option to have. Um, flying this around, I haven't noticed any difference in quality of the signal between these two units. They both have a perfectly good um, signal. They both allow you to record your analog DVR to the DJI goggles. All you do is push the record button here after you switch the input to that AV source. Wow, what a game changer, guys. You can have analog and digital for less than the price of a Fat Shark HDO2 if you catch these on sale on the right day. So that is a great, great option to have. What do you think in the comments, guys? Have you switched over? Are you really thinking about should it be analog? Should it be digital? It doesn't have to be one or the other. This is both. Why choose, guys? You don't have to choose. All you have to do is get DJI goggles and then for a scant 13 bucks, skip a couple of supersized meals and then boom, you have it ready to go right here in one package. Thanks, guys.